you're doing as it relates to my birthday experience. I was a grinder. When I first got there, nobody wanted to talk to me because I was a freshman until I started singing. And then I started going to the gospel choir. Then I started leading every song. And everybody was like, I'm tired of Jesus is Real by John P. Key. If we sing that song again, I'm going to throw up on stage. Um, but, you know, I always had favorite. And so um, I started doing all these commercials. But what got me was when I started interning with PGD and working with all these record labels and marrying the real world with the academic world. Because as... As I'm the only, I'm the second African American honored at Berkeley next to Quincy Jones for all that I've done in the music business. But that's not because of Berkeley. That's because of outside of Berkeley while I was at Berkeley. And so I got this experience that busted my bubble, which a lot of people kind of get caught up in that whole school, school day, school world, whatever, where you just kind of like, you stay in this bubble, this, 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 this academic bubble, but you don't step outside and you don't you don't kind of marry the two, right? You get all this book sense, and you, you get all this practice and shedding, and, but you don't get to use it. So you don't, there's like time management skills, follow through skills, organizational skills, all the stuff that I learned at Berkeley, which is top music school in the world, but they didn't teach me about finance. They didn't teach me about, you know, how to shut my mouth and I say I went to Berkeley because a lot of people didn't go to Berkeley. So when you say you went to school, which is kind of like an Ivy League school, to people who got a job, you know, who had to work 10 years to get where you, you somehow got to, um, you don't realize how many people are smiling in your face and indirectly hating and waiting. 